Hello friends, this lesson will explain how to use clouding, this one, to transfer load to the polines and onto the thrust, from the thrust to the beam and to the columns as well to the foundations successfully. You are welcome to this presentation and surfacing. Let us get started. Before we proceed into the lesson properly, I want to urge us to like the lesson and subscribe to Surfacing channel. If you have not subscribed, still. Let's go into the lesson. At first, I want to be fixing this. This is called frame. And I want to show you where you can find this frame and as well as the clouding future. All right. If you navigate to the modeling tab right there and then come to this team member you are frame this one is this okay while the clouding is this one we have in here okay so i want to be fixing this uh, frame now so i will select this one because i want to be re replicating what i have here at the other side of the uh, thrust okay so i will right click right there and click on its property then I will just have to orbit it towards the provision, okay, and then the first point of the frame, and then I'll pick the last point, which is this provision, yeah, to insert this just like that, okay, after which I will close the options, and then select the one at the bottom, provision, right click, it properties, and then pick the first point right, right there, and then the second point I have that, okay, just like this, all right. So after which this is a actually a simple uh, uh, bus stop design, okay? This is a bus stop design. So how do we fix this clouding future? You, for instance, if I get it selected and then I right click and then select delete options to remove it. So I want to fix it back now. I will go back to the steel members and then i'll pick the clouding option okay select the polines to fix it properly just like this now these are the groups all right and this group has to deal with the thickness of this okay because this serves as a roof sheet all right so if you want to give it a thickness you can just provide a key thickness accordingly yeah okay if you really want to provide a thickness, can go by default, right? Just like this, click on the OK option to have it in stacked date, just like this. So after which, how do we now apply load using this uh, cloud? You get it selected just as it is. Right click and then select property. In the property download, we navigate to the load options. In the load options, you can see selected load cases now if you select in this drop down menu there's no load cases because we have not enabled the loading combinations for this project so we have to close this by clicking on the ok options then we navigate to the loading tab and then select the load cases and combinations just like this and then in this provision you select a loading generator in the loading generator dialog we will come to horizontal loading if we are to apply the wind load to this structure you have to make sure you activate the wind loading just like this all right come to this provision and then all of these are okay and then since this project consists of the reinforced concrete members and as well as the steel member okay you have to select this create different combinations for steel members design all right Make sure you check that options and they click on the OK options right there. And then the load will be generated just like this. Okay. After which, click on the OK options successfully. Now we want to be applying live and dead loads to this uh, clouding. So you get the clouding selected. So if it's not selecting, it's not actually selecting. So you have to move your cursor right on it so you can be able to select it properly if not if it's not still selecting just go back to the modeling tab come to the steel member options and make sure you see here is selected already so you have to deselect this uh clouding option so you can be able to select it here successfully just like this okay 
after you get that selected you right click right there click on each property then come to load option and the load option now selected load cases now g which is the dead load and then you have q which is the live load you also have the we load in the x direction and the y directions for us to apply that successfully you just have to enable one of the load cases which is the dead load and then click on the add options just like this and then you select here and then you make sure that you impute uh, the uh, figure the value of the load we are using one 0 0.415 for the dead load after which to apply it you just come to this uh, role where you have all surfaces just click right there select the l1 which is the uh, label of the load we just uh, added okay this one and then click on the ok options to apply this all through the provisions of the roofing area of the polines you can see it just like this but it is acting from the underneath of the polines all right you can take it up by prefixing the load figure with a uh, minus uh, just like this okay after we just let in this provision see the load has turned upside down just like this okay so this is the work of the cloud is using it to apply load on the uh, roofing uh roofing pole lines so the load can be transferred to the trusses and to the beams as well as the column to the foundation successfully click on the ok options to have that done successfully so far we have applied the dead load for us to apply the live load you can still go back right there and then select these provisions now here is the dead load now come to in this drop down menu select q for the live load right add the loads and then provide a figure of the value of the load this time around we'll be having it as or 1.2 okay 0 0.12 kilonewton per square meters okay after which you select in this column select all and apply it just like this okay then you click on the okay options so the load is being applied successfully on this so with this now you can be able to run your analysis as well the way we apply the g load and the q load the same way you apply the wx which is the wind load on this same uh, roofing okay the same way you apply the wind load also in the y direction successfully so if i still have the clouding right here so you can also apply load on this uh, gate right you can still apply load on this gate successfully so this is how to use clouding successfully in product structure 2021 this is a simple bus stop uh steel uh design all right so if you have any question with respect to this you can drop it at the comment section successfully i will attend to your question once again you are welcome i'm so freezing stay tuned stay connected like the lesson subscribe and see you in the next lesson bye for now